Brooklyn's historic The Black Lady Theater is now taking bookings. Host your next birthday party, concert, networking event, baby or bridal shower, wedding, art show, gala, corporate event, live stage play, audition, and so much more at the one and only The Black Lady Theater. Mention code GODCAST for 15% off your rental fee. Code good for the first time customers only. Valid for a limited time. Call 718-771-0900 to book your event today. Peace! Today is Friday, July 26th. Make it today's math. Wisdom, equality, all being born to build, destroy. That's right. Your wise words, your ways and actions show forth and prove your equality, which is one, two, three, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. That's what we spread to each other. We, we add on with positive and we destroy and take away from the negative. Peace. Priceless. A lot of people ask me, because I'm going to be 50 next year, and a lot of people ask me, you know, how is... Hold up. Yes. You said 50? Yes. Five zero? Yes. And next year. Damn, black yes, people! Yes, we are great. What do you want us to do? I mean, what? Yo, black people. Yo, that was so... That was, that was such a, a, a sincere, delayed reaction just now, like... Black wait, 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 people, Coco butter, <laughs> Coco butter, Shea butter. Yeah, wait, can we just get, can we just get that? Woo! Listen, man. Y'all look like a day out of 26. Hell no. Thank you so much. But honestly, I'm going to tell you, the secret is like, when I talk to you about freedom, you know, when I started to feel that freedom to just be, I felt like almost like my, my years were going backwards. Mm. Anytime I, even when I see Buster, he always says, yo, mom, please, how are you aging backwards? You know, but I'm telling you, it's, it's really stress. <laughs> no stress doubt. Stress can, can, can age you. Whatever it oh, is yeah. in your life, I implore. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Leave it outside your door. Whatever it is, be it people, be it a job or situation, find you know a lot of times we are so stuck in the grind mm. that we forget about what we really need like essentially what do you really need to be happy you need your health water food some nice maybe, cooked food some maybe, nice clean uh, girls yes right but you know so i have to like really um identify really quickly what it is that i'm what i would need and freedom freedom was 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 top of the list. No doubt. Um, after she and what me, is freedom to you? Oh my goodness. She's like, how much time you got? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try to freedom. Many things make me feel free. Um, space and time to be is freedom. This right here, this attention you're giving me in this moment makes me feel light and makes me feel free. Mm. Mm. The means by which we need and use the, the like money isn't necessary to be happy, but I I would like money so that I can travel and go to where I want to go and come back to where I want to be when I want to be. That's freedom. It could be as small as a small thing as going to an event, being able to leave when I want to leave. Nobody's gonna hold me. That is freedom. Um, freedom, it's, it's like not feeling coveted. Not feeling like you're in a cave. Not feeling like you're in a box or you're defined by a certain rule. Or, um, that's freedom. Those basic things, they make me happy. They make me so happy. Uh, freedom. 
digger. Ask some girl questions. I'm like, I just, I actually, <laughs> I just. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. The age to the 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 uh, the answer to. Because digger was like, you know, well, I would have went and found me somebody else right away and, and just kept it moving. Oh well, you. Know. Oh well, well, in terms of because okay, so we were we were discussing. Out of respect, out of respect we I didn't do that because I respected the brand of Jeanne so much. And even my, I respected my father so much that I would never, like, I didn't realize that I was the way I could never just replace it. Because to me, I believe in that music. And I still love that music. And changing the configuration right away to me, I guess because I'm a loyal Libra, it just felt like, oh, mm. I, could, I couldn't do it. Like, I just don't want to be that girl, you know? I didn't want to be that person to do it. Um, because I know how much the audience loved, I, I remember how much they loved it. That entity. Yeah. That's understandable. Yeah. It's, so, all, it's, all, it's almost like, uh, you know, we never wanted to see, as much as we love TLC, like nobody could replace right. yeah. Left Eye. Yeah. So, or, I mean, yeah, I know your situation wasn't, yeah. you know, wasn't to that like, extent, yeah. but, but I, you know, we were discussing like what we were going to talk to you about. And, and you know, I, I didn't want to make this a, a bunch of salacious, salacious no, questions about what happened, what happened. But, yeah. you know, I was curious to know, like, you know, why you didn't do more you know, just on your own, like, why didn't you step out and, and just say, hey, you know, the, the show still got to go on? Well, because right after that, what happened was I started to produce and then I met uh, one of jazz's greatest musicians, Roy Hargrove, mm. right away. Oh, man. And, okay. um, I right. had, like, all this music. I started producing and I started writing my story. And producing okay. for? Myself. Okay. And I presented it to him because I had a song that I wanted to get to D'Angelo at the time and I knew that mm. Roy orchestrated all the horns for Rudy and all that stuff so I was like well you know maybe if I can get it to Roy I can get it to D and once Roy heard what I was doing he was like oh hell no he said nobody knows you're singing like this nobody knows you're playing like this nobody knows you're producing like this I have an album called Hard Room on Verve Records I'm going to open up this bud budget right away I'm going to add you on it you're going to play in this band Mm. And you're going to record some music for this band, and you're going to, you're going to tour with this band mm. as a musician. Mm. Now, this is Roy Hargrove, Grammy nominated, Grammy winner, jazz great. And here I am coming from this thing that you're saying, well, just get another girl. But what I did was I adhered to the moment, and I just listened. Without questioning the fear, I just walked through it. And I said, you know, let me just walk through. Mm. And 15 years later, two Grammy nominations later with Orange Factor, I toured this world mm. and had the best musical experience in years of my career. And it grew me in a way, sorry, Roy always okay. said to me, he used to call me Bop. And he said, Bop, this experience and this music is going to give you stronger legs to stand on. Mark my words. And Roy passed away this November. Um, mm -hmm. And when I look back on everything that he told me and taught me, he was right. Because mm. I'm still here. Right. And that music that you're talking about can still happen right now. It's still happening. Well, basically, you so you did step out. You just you did you were just I more behind the scenes right away. with it. No, I was actually front and center with Orange Factor, but of course the pond. So okay. when you're in jazz. Okay. It's almost as if if you're in the States and you're in an into jazz, a lot of people don't realize that there's another world outside, mm -hmm. which is like the pop or the hip hop world here. No, I understand that. Yeah, so I was doing, I was doing all the North Sea jazz festivals, okay. performing with. with and those Shop are and gigantic. And, yeah, yeah and huge. Of people, the hugest stage is Prince Roy Harbour, so mm -hmm. I met Herbie Hancock through him, mm. uh, George Duke, I met. Mm. Clark Terry, I got to know. Mm. Um, Hampton. Uh, Marsalis. Yes, well, I, well, I performed in um, Qatar. Damn. For jazz at Lincoln, at Lincoln Center. Yeah, yeah. Through Wynton Marsalis, <laughs> program with Willie Jones. And Damn. I met this whole world of musicians that have helped to cultiva cultivate me even stronger as a musician. And the piece that you're talking about was um, 
Lincoln Center of this year. Mm. I was before I was performing right after Nora Jones. This is this year, and wow. that's what mm. the jazz circuit did for me. That, right. Sometimes you have to just trust, trust your journey. So the jazz world put me in these arenas. Right. Now, when Roy passed away, um, I was asked to perform at his memorial. That very morning, I wrote a song because I couldn't finish it. So I finished it during breakfast, mm. and um, I performed it at Lincoln Center right after Nora Jones performed because she and Roy went to school together. Common was on the bill, Marcellus mm. was on the bill. I mean, it was a star-studded event. Wow. And, um, so these are the things that I've been doing. I did Carnegie Hall with Mo Steph. Right. And I got that, not through Janine's notoriety, I got that through Just the jazz. Through right. Wow. Hey, are you, you're, you're playing instruments as, yeah. as well. Yeah. See, yeah. That's, see that's, what I'm, that's what I mean by behind the scenes. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't mean mainstream versus, the, I'm, I mean like you're, when I say behind yeah. the scenes, I mean you're, you're in, the, in, down. In, in, yeah, in addition and to I the like singing, it. you're doing instrumentation and, and stuff. You understood now. Like when I sat down, I got you. It, you know what it took me back to? Midwood. I was right back in my comfort zone, and I was a, I was afforded the um, the time to cultivate maybe the instrument that I wasn't cultivating while I was in John A. Doing the hits, it brought me right back to one, mm -hmm. with less pressure, behind one of the greatest to ever do it, Roy Hargrove surrounded by some of the most amazing musicians in the world because they play they want to play with him mm. so by default like god just put this like in my life when one door closes no, so no. you can so walk many. through another door mm -hmm. real quick that's what we, bill destroy before, means before we go and and i might want to uh -huh. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Build a shot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you be on it, nigga. I see you on it. All right. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, the other day, the other night, we was at uh, Ch Dave Chappelle has an annual comics ball. Yeah. And uh, it was at downtown on Christie Street, yeah. Lower East Side. Is that the same as the cookout? Is that the cookout? Mm -hmm. Or that's something different? The cookout. Yeah, block no, party. No, it's not block cookout. party. The cookout. Like, the cookout. That's Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in that movie. <laughs> I can't stay. <laughs> there it is. Watch the cookout. No, um, it's a, it was just his little thing he does for comics and all this other stuff. Okay. And he has musical guests always. But I, I came a little later and it was dope because I walked into hip hop heaven like I am now. Okay. And it was like I came in and they were doing a scenario. So you know, oh, as a man. Wow. You know, it was like, I, as soon as I walk in, it was like, as I come on from the juice from, I was like, yo! Nice. Heat up, heat up, heat up, come rewind. And then boom, that was dope. P powerful impact, boom, that was dope. It was, it was Buster, it was oh, Tip, Q-Tip, it was everybody in there. And she got up there and was rocking with Dave Chappelle. That was dope for a couple hours. Let me tell you what nice. happened. Let me tell yeah. you what happened. So Dave Chappelle is in town, he's on Broadway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the show on Friday, ended up with Dave and the crew, and with Soul the Horn, and we performed there. Mm. Left, I didn't sleep. I had my suitcase packed because I was meeting a brand new baby in Charlotte mm. the following day. Yes, she was. Flew out, no sleep, straight to Charlotte. <laughs> we hit, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then came back the next day, Dave and them. Somehow I got the call again, and then I showed up at this public hotel. You walk in, you see Dela in the corner. Dela, yeah. DJ Trauma on the one and two. Bill Bellamy, his wife. Gerard Godfrey. D Nice. D Nice, be everywhere. Yeah, for real. Um, Taking pictures. And shit. A lot of people in the room, but it was really, it was really Dave's way of bringing the comedians together during this time of high censorship mm. and mm. imploring to them to say what you want honor to say. exactly honor your muse remember your gift and honor your muse don't let the rules change your comedy you know that's how it's 
And so everybody's chilling and all of a sudden he sees me in the audience, he goes to the DJ, he tells him to stop playing, he gets the microphone and he says, she's going to sing a cappella. And he introduces me as his friend. <laughs> she goes sing a cappella. I start. So in the moment, I just Kinda start. Kind of like we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay. And then I see a red shirt in the middle of the audience. It's busted. Mm -hmm. As soon as I see him, he's top of my shirt. He's top of right now. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to finish here and give you what you need now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that opened up the jam session. Ah. Okay. Before, before we do that, um, I was talking to you earlier, yeah. and I said, you know, you remind me of somebody. I, you look like somebody to me. Okay, so let me and guess. then here you was going guessing and guessing. Okay. And you were wrong and wrong. You know, I mean, you could still continue okay, to guess if I you guess. like, and I'll even let them okay. guess. Good. Who does this woman look like? I have two guesses. I've been told a dark, a, a, the chocolate version of Sharon Headley from Coming to America. She played the girl. Right, right, of course. Okay, so okay, okay. You know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been told Max from Living Single when I was a toddler. Uh, Eric Alexander. Eric Alexander. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's dark skinned. No. No, 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 but. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I see Max. No, no, right, not really. Um, yeah. When I say mine. Evelyn Chase came. Okay. Okay, from the side. Oh, yeah. Love, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. Okay. From from the side a little bit. Calm down. All right. <laughs> okay. But, but that's I not it. You. Like we can we can we can split screen you with all these people that you're talking about. And Evelyn Champagne like, King. Nah, yeah. nah. But when I say mine. Oh, we're gonna say hell yeah. They need to cast her Ooh. to play this. Wait, wait, wait. Story wait. Jones from Girlfriend. Nope. No. Oh. Did I just grab? I mean, I'm not, but, okay. No? You ready? Do, do y'all I'm, I'm trying to look. Um, wait, wait, wait. Because when I say it, y'all gonna be like, word. Oh, damn. She should play somebody, you said. Patty LaBelle? I'm saying who she looks. I'm saying she could play this woman if there was. Oh, okay. You know, if she was a stunt double. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Damn, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. What? Man, what? Y'all ready? Can Jones. I say it? You guys no. have guesses? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead and say it. I don't know. Go ahead. Say it. Lenny Kravitz's mama. Roxy oh, Roper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty I good. That. That's Lenny pretty good. No, she's from the Bahamas. Now watch when I fucking, Wait. when we split screen this. Yeah. Not, bad. Like, Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Not yeah. bad, not bad. Uh, rest in peace, Roxy, Roxy Roker. Roker. But she reminds and She related to Al Roker, I think, too. You giving me... Yeah. No, I'm being for real. Leslie Uggles. Leslie Uggles? Uh, yeah. She played Kizzy in Roots. Was she Kizzy? Mm -hmm. Not Leslie. No. Somebody else did. I think Somebody else did. Le Leslie Uggins was not... She, she was in Roots, though. But I think she was Kizzy. Someone else, I think, Tyson was Kizzy. You mean... No, Cicely Tyson. Cicely Tyson, maybe. No, no, Cicely Tyson wasn't Kizzy. Leslie Uggins was Kizzy. Leslie Uggins was Kizzy. Leslie Uggins was Kizzy. Leslie Uggins was Kizzy when she got old and she's spitting that man's. That's a first. That's a first. Leslie Uggins was Kizzy. But you do, do you see Kizzy in the movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cause you look like Sugar Hedley. I know. Big Daddy K said you look like Sugar Hedley. Just for come, coming to America. Like <laughs> Putting in hysteria. Cause you look like Sugar Hedley. <laughs> 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 Cause you look like Sugar Hedley. Cause you look like Sugar Hedley. Cause you look like Sugar Hedley. I don't mean to put you in a rhyme, but just wasting time. <laughs> Big Daddy K, baby. Uggams, Kizzy. Yeah, Uggams was Kizzy. That's right. Okay, well, maybe that's the wrong one. Yeah, she ain't no. Sissy Tyson. Sissy Tyson. Trust me. Sissy Tyson. Well, if I can live as long as he 
Mm. What? Right. And she look beautiful to this day. Oh, she, oh dude, she look better than some people that are 50, dude. It's crazy. Ooh, this is Lee Tyson dating Miles Davis. She, she was married to Miles Davis. What he was that? whooping her ass, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It was Miles. It was Betty Davis. You know Betty Davis. Betty Davis, Betty Davis yeah. was with my, my um, the the singer, the uh, funk singer who just dropped out of music, Wait, the light skin one. Davis. Yeah. It was with who? But is it, yeah, it's Betty Davis. Oh, with with Miles Davis. The white Betty Davis. No, no, no. Oh. The um, the funk singer. Funk singer. I don't know. She, the, yeah, but she did funk. Since she, there's a documentary on her, and she just kind of faded out. She was real different, real edgy. She was pretty, and Miles Davis was like, who's that girl? He's like, I want to date her. Turn my back, I can't. I can't. I'll I'll turn my back while I'm playing. I can't. <laughs> 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 turn my back to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're a bad dude. I'm turning my back to these motherfuckers. Nina would turn her back to you. That's dope. Phase will be, you know? Well, listen, right on. We're about to get on some real, you know, how they handle real talk shows. And they'd be like, yo, we, we, we're getting ready to take you out for the song. So we're getting ready to cut real quick. And when we come back, Renee Newhill is going to take us out for the song. She, I think she can help you box your house. Hey. All right. Rhythm section. Uh, all right. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> In case he gets injured. In case you need backup. <laughs> All right, we're going to be right back. We have a performance from Renee Neuville. Yeah. Woo! All right, so listen. For the Anatomy and God cast, I'm Lord Jamal. I'm Digger Digger. I'm Godfrey. And right about now, we're going to have you, we're going to take you out with a live performance from Renee Nouvelle. Clap it up, everybody. Hi, this is Renee Nouvelle of Jeanne, and I just wanted to introduce you to The Cross from Brooklyn. Shout out to Collage. That's how we met. So take it out. <laughs> Sealing it with the 
together with the beat in your soul Did I ever tell you how you make me feel Every night you're on the control So come on daddy won't you take it away I know I pour your line every day I'm dialing five 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 zero four twenty nine so that I can hear you you say hey 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 baby boy just tell me what I can play for you 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 you're right on time you just got through the request Good night.